<gasps> no! Jax, get in the car and go home now. No way! <laughs> get out! Okay. Huh? Hmm. Oh no! Stop it! Oh no! No. Oh no. Oh no. Huh? Hey, hey. Ponies and rubber. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey. What happened? Hello. This conceit man. No way. Hello. Okay. Huh? huh? Let's go. Yes. Understanding you. Yes. Do you agree to be my wife? Um. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and look here. I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Oh no!
Hmm. <laughs> Let me help you. <laughs> hey. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? I'm actually a millionaire. Most of the girls are that. Come to me just because of my money. I wanted a how to learn, so I pretended to be a homeless person. Uh. East you are sap. I would like to invite you to my house for dinner as a polo's eye. Yes! Let's go! Okay. <laughs> 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 okay. Hi. <laughs> huh? <sighs> I saw all the entire plan. I'm sorry. Oh no! Um. <laughs> 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 Huh? Hello. 
<laughs> Let's play together. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. I really like you. Please be my lover. Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Some time later. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> okay, <laughs> bye bye! I'm pregnant, the baby. How can you hang out with another girl? Get out! <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so, why won't you get married? Soon, baby. I'm looking for a reason to get rid of her. for you. Now mm. go away. Really, 
my son, please! <laughs> Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> okay. Want to go back to the mother? Yes. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> huh? Hey you! Hey you! Thank you. Let's go. My mother. Hmm. Hmm. Oh no. <laughs> Where's my mother? safe now. Mom, I'm 
miss you. Mom also miss you. Are you hurt anywhere? Hmm. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> I can't call Tricia. Is there something wrong with her? You don't have to worry. I text her. She said what? She said there was a man asking for a ride. Maybe she could bring her boyfriend to meet us. Oh, who knows? She might meet her man. The victim is female, about 40 years old, who identify as not really to mine. How long has the victim been dead? The victim has been dead for about three days. The victim may have been murdered on Christmas Eve. Did you find any clues? The victim's wallet and phone have been taken, showing sign of a robbery. The victim shows sign of being raped before being murdered? That's right. I think that is not the main scene of the crime. Who reported it to the police? A homeless person discovered the body while passing by here. I would interrogate him. Hmm. You were the one who discovered the body. <sighs> yes, at that time I was wandering around and suddenly saw some unusual size there. Please tell us the details. <sighs> at that time, I panicked and called for help. Some people ran over it and killed the police. Do you often pass through that area? I have, but every day is nothing out of the ordinary. Thank you for your information. X-ray results show that the victims were raped, then shrinkled to death. Are there any unusual point? The victim was raped elsewhere. The perpetrator huh? brought the victim to the scene and murdered her. Does the victim show sign of being controlled when raped? Mask on her hands and feet show that the victim was ties up when she was raped. <sighs> Did the victim resist? The victim resisted fiercely, forcing the perpetrator to kill her. First of all, the victim identify must be Dietmai. Had there been any reports of missing person recently? There were no hmm. missing report. This area was previously peaceful. It is possible that the victim has not been missing long enough for the family to report a search. Or it could be that the victim was from another place. Please mm. check to see if there any missing person report in the surrounding area. Of course. If you have any new information, please notify me immediately. Yes. The victim identify had not been determined. The victim may not be from this region. It has not been determined specifically what the stolen assets included. Do you have any idea? If the victim is from another place, he or she can travel by personal car. The car was stolen? Wait for the search result from the police. Hmm. You called the police? You did help with something? Someone left a car in front of my house. We got started my family's activities. How long has the car been left here? About two days ago, I went to a Christmas party at my parents' house. Hmm. I saw the car here when I got home. Do you have any information about this car? I asked around, but no one knew the owner of the car. Thank you for your information. We will bring the car back for investigation. You have new information about the case? Someone called the police about the derelict car left outside her door. Did you find any clues? We took the car for a checkup. Had you posted information about the car owner yet? We have posted information to search for the car owner. Can you give me information about the person who discovered the car? Yes. Please let me know when you find the owner of the car. 
from the location of the abandoned car to the location of the victim's body being discovered. They were quite close together. Do you think that was the victim car? Must wait for the result of checking information from the police. Any ideas? Inquiring from the person who discovered the car. Maybe she had a clue to provide us. I'm Detective Thompson. I need some information from you. Yes. When you left the house, was the car there yet? Hmm. No. It appeared after I returned home the next morning. Are there security cameras around this area? Around here, there is only one convenience store near the park that had cameras. Did you notice anything unusual when you returned home? I saw a person in color often passing by and looking at the car. Please tell us the details. He looks like a homeless person. Thank you for providing the information. <sighs> Ryan, have you heard anything about Tristia? Not yet. I have pulled a search on social network. Please tell me clearly. Trixia is a strong person. It would probably be okay. Try yeah. looking for information from the police in the surrounding areas. Yes. Huh? I have information. Parents. Please tell me clearly. Go it in the surrounding area. Announced they were looking for the owner of the abandoned car. It's Trixia's car. Bryant, go there and check it out. Yes. I feel like I've met her somewhere before. She used to be an actress and is currently a yoga teacher. Have you compared information with the victim's family? Trixia's brother went to the police to identify the car. The victim's brother confirmed the information? He posted a search for victim on social media. I need to meet him to get information. Hmm. My condolences to your family. Thank you. Please tell me, when did Trixia leave home? On Christmas afternoon, Trixia drove away. Do you know where she went? My sister told her to go to a friend's house for a Christmas party. Hmm. Can you contact her up to that? The next morning, we lost contact. I thought she was just hanging out somewhere until she saw the news. Do you know the address where Trixia went to attend the Christmas party? The law needs to have provision for people with mental illness. Thank you. We will contact you when we need information. Once the victim identify has been determined, we will open an investigation. Yes. Any ideas? Go investigate the friends who invited the victim to the Christmas party. Sure. What about you? I will go to the scene to find traces of the perpetrator. Let's go. Reason were available after checking inside the victim's car. Did you find any clues? The backseat of the car shows signs of a struggle, and the victim was likely tied up in the backseat. That was also the scene of the raid? That's right. The killer then forced the victim to go into the park and kill her. After murdering her, he hit the victim in the bushes and rose away? Yes. Thank you for the information you provide. I'm Lieutenant Rod Brigo. I need you to provide some information. Yes. Do you know what happened to Trixie and Macaulay? She's so pitiful. You were the one who invited her to the Christmas party? Yes, I was the one who invited her. When was the last time you had contact with Trixia? Around 7 a.m. that evening. When everyone has arrived, I called Trixia to ask where she had gone. Can you still contact her up to that? About 30 minutes later, I called back but got no response. After the party that day, did you contact Trixia again? I asked my friends, but no one knew her information. I was afraid something was wrong with her, so I informed her family. Thanks for your information. Hello, I'm Detective Thompson. I need to add you some information. Yes. You know the murder that happened in the park the other day? I know that. Have you ever met the victims? I haven't met her yet. So this car, have you ever seen it? I saw this car. On Christmas night, its owner came here to buy things. Who is the owner of the car? The owner of the car is Mr. Dwayne Johnson. He has come here several times. Do you know any information about Mr. Johnson? 
He lives nearby and rarely communicates with others. Do you store have security cameras? Okay. I need you to provide some information about Trixie and Macaulay. <gasps> yes. On Christmas evening, were you able to contact her? She texts me to tell me about letting a man get into her car for a ride. Do you still say that message? Yes. Hmm. Can you contact her after that? After that, I didn't contact her. I just take her to tell her to be careful. Thanks for your information. What information did you find? Her friends all not contact with her after 7 p.m. on Christmas Day. Did you find anything unusual? Trixia gave a man a ride before she went missing. So the information is correct. What did you have investigate? The victim car that evening was being driven by someone else. You have proof? I investigated at the convenience store. So you have identified the suspect? That's right. Let's go to the police station. I have investigated the suspect, 30 years old, Dwayne Johnson. Hmm. I know this person, a dangerous subject. Please talk in details. Johnson had three convictions for theft, violent, and show sign of mental illness. Johnson is currently being monitored locally. He usually go to a psychiatric hospital for treatment every Saturday. Ready to take Johnson in for questioning? Yes. I'm Detective Thompson. I need to see Mr. Dwayne Johnson. Mr. Johnson is a special case at surveillance. What happened? He is a suspect in a murder case at the park. Yes. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Johnson, you are suspected of murdering Miss Tristia McCauley. Please follow us. <laughs> Mr. Johnson, do you know Miss Trixia Macaulay? I met her on Christmas evening. Something happened between the two of you. I asked for a ride in the car, then I stopped it at the convenience store to buy things. Then what happened? She fled with me. We had sick in the car. Didn't you rape and kill the victims? I don't do that. So where do you get off the bus? Please prove it. Hmm. If you admit, your sentence would be redue. I do not know anything. I will come back to see you later. He refused to admit murder. What did he confess? He admitted that he asked for a ride with the victims, and the victim invited him to have voluntary sex. Did he deny it? He was silent and said he didn't know anything. The police had just investigated a recent robbery. Please go there to see if there's any information. Why didn't I know about this robbery? The robbery was not too serious. The perpetrator only stole some medicine, but did not drop money or fight. Thank for your information. Do you have any new information? We just investigated the robbery the previous night. Please tell us the details. The pharmacy was robbed two days ago. What have you discovered? The culprits were Johnson, cameras at the convenience store, and witnesses confirm it. He was driving Trixia's car. Hmm. Thank you for providing the information. Two days ago, you drove Trixia's car to rob the pharmacy. Yes. Why did you rob the pharmacy? I'm sick. I need to buy medicine, but they refused to sell it to me. Where was Trixia at that time? She died. You killed her and stole the car. I didn't do it. She committed suicide. Why did she commit suicide? After bed sick, she says she was bored with this life and hung herself in the car. So why did you use the victim Wallace, phone and car? If somebody is suicide and gives you all their belongings, is that against the law? Please provide me information about Dwayne Johnson. Johnson has been go to the hospital for treatment continuously for the past year. What is his health condition? He's often agitated and has violent tendencies. Had Johnson been acting strange lately? The day before he went to the doctor, I saw wounds on his hands and face, like he had been in a fight with someone else. Anything else? I asked. 
He say a girl injures him, so Johnson kill the girl. I think he's talking nonsense. It's true. He kill a girl. Oh my god. I didn't realize that. Thank you for providing the information. Johnson, have you plead guilty yet? Mm. If you still deny, you will be detained for lie and will not receive treatment. I plead guilty. Please tell us the details. That night I was wandering the street, seeing the car stop in front of me, I approached and asked for a ride. Why did you kill and rape the victims? Because she looked very beautiful. Do you have anything else to say? I want to apologize to the victim and her family. You say it in court. <sighs> For the first time in 13 years of living in Washington, I feel scared. I no longer walk alone and by everywhere anymore. I always avoid area of the city where I feel unsafe. <sighs> Trixie are my colleagues, one of the kindest and gentlest people I know. So for someone to be able to harm her is a terrible thing. Hi everyone. Hi. The suspect had admitted to the murder of Miss Trixie are my colleague. He will receive a corresponding sentences. We are here to inform Miss Trixie of this. Our condolences to everyone present. <laughs> Hello, Mom. How are your parents and everyone? The family is fine. How is your work? My work is still going very well. This year, I would come home for Christmas. Great. Will you bring your boyfriend home? Yes. <laughs> He's a wonderful person. Hey. <laughs> I call you back later, Mom. Yes. Goodbye. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm on just call mom. I'm not saying this year she will come home to spend Christmas with the family. Great. She probably bring back a lot of gifts. Mom will bring her boyfriend home to introduce to us. Everyone, please clean up and prepare to welcome Amma home. Yes. La -di -da -di -da -di -da. Uh -huh. That was the last time you had contact with your sister. Yes. Have you contacted our mom aquatisis or friend yet? I contact everyone, but no one knew the information of our mom. Do you and your family know the information about our mom boyfriend? We don't know. My family had never met that person. We have only heard from our mom. Okay, don't worry too much. The police will contact you when there's information. Thank you. A disappearance of Q on Christmas. The missing person is our mom Samina, 35 years old. When was the last time our mom Samina family contacted her? Two mm. days before Christmas, our mom Samina called her mother to inform her about bringing her boyfriend to meet her on Christmas. The victim has been missing for a week. Any idea? Everyone should search where she worked and the places around there. Hope nothing bad happened. Our mom is the manager of the Costco chain of store. Let's go there and investigate. A coast? In her last call to her family, she says she was buying things. Maybe a convenience store somewhere. Focus on locations near the area where our mom work. Yes, sir. Hello, I'm Detective Thompson. I need you to provide some information about Miss Ama Samina. What do you want to ask? When was the last time you saw her? At around 4 p.m. on December 22, she left the store. Did she say where she was going? She said she was going to buy some gifts to visit her family. Do you know where she usually buy things? There is a convenience store nearby. A mom often buy things there. Hmm. Thank you. If you have more information, please report it to the police. Hello. We need you to provide information. Well, what did you need to add? Do you know this woman? Hmm. I don't remember very clearly. Remember the time before Christmas? Did she come here? I remember. She used to come here to buy things before Christmas. 
Do you remember her characteristic? She drove a BMW, dressed elegantly, and looked like she was about to go on a date. Do you remember what she bought? She bought an expensive bottle of wine, some candy, and personal items. Please let mm. us test the store cameras. Okay. We have investigated. Our mom was driving a BMW. The last time the victim appeared was at a convenience store. I will have someone search the surrounding area for any suspicious vehicle. If you have any information, please provide it to me. There's some emergency notice. What's up? We just received a report of a dead body being discovered at the construction site. It's a big deal. Let's go see the scene. The victim was female and had been dead for about a week. Did you find any clue? The victim was murdered somewhere else and then brought here to hide her body. Who reported it to the police? Two policemen on patrol noticed something unusual, so they check and discover the code. Verify the victim information. Okay. Please let me know the situation at that time. We were patrolling the street when we discover an unpleasant smell coming from the construction site. Okay, thank you guys. The victim is our mom Samena, 35 years old. The time of the death coincide with the time the victim went missing. Yes. What was the victim cause of death? The victim was poisoned by cyanide. Did you find the victim property? No property of the victim was found at the scene. Regarding the victim BMW, is there any information yet? We did cause her poi, but did not have any information. The case is at the deadlock. Condolence it to the family. A mom Samina murder make me extremely sad. My daughter must have been very scared at that time. Please get justice for a mom. Sure. Please tell me Miss a mom condition before she was murdered. A <sighs> mom is an enthusiastic and cheerful person. She doesn't show any strange signs. What about her work and outside life? Her workplace is great. A mom often says the store manager cares about her very much. Everyone relationship is very good. Thanks for your information. It seems that the victim families do not know much about the Amam outside life. Any ideas? I think we need to investigate the store manager where Amam Samina work. You think that person is Amam Samina boyfriend? Likely. I will go investigate information about this person. Do you have any new information? The victim car was found. Where did you find it? This was not on the side of the road. And witnesses say the owner left the car there more than a week ago. Thank you. Let me see the witness. You probably already know what happened to Ama Samina. Yes, she's beautiful. I need you to provide some information about the branch manager. Do you mean Mr. Roger Cooper? I need your information. Roger is an incident person. He has many love affairs and is often with girls. Do you see any unusual relationship between Roger and our mom? There was a time when I saw that Roger was interested in our mom, but recently they have been cold towards each other. On the last day you saw our mom, did Roger appear? After our mom left the store, Roger left soon after. Do you remember what car Roger drove? That day, Roger drove a white car. Thanks for your information. I need you to provide some information. Yes, very well. Please tell me what happened that day. That day I was walking my dog and saw a BMW parked there. I stopped to look at the car. Is the owner of the car this person? It was her. I couldn't be mistaken. You see where she went? She got into another car and left. Can you see the license plate? I don't remember. I just remember it was white. Thank you. I have investigated the information that the Costco store manager, Rojo Cooper, is 40 years old. What kind of person he is? The store employees all state that Rojo was an indecent person. Is there any information about the relationship between him and the victim? Roger and the victims used to be very close, but recently they began to grow cold. You do very well. Did you find any information? There was a witness who saw the Amman car. She left her car and got into another person's car. Now what do we do next? Let's go investigate Roger Cooper. Hello, 
I'm Detective Thompson. I need some information from you. Yes. Do you know what happened to our mom, Samina? She's my employee. It's unfortunate what happened. When was the last time you met Amma? About a week ago. She told me she was coming home to celebrate Christmas with her family. Please tell me, what did you do? And where were you during that time? I went to my brother's house to celebrate Christmas. What mean of transportation did you use that day? I drive my car. Do you need a check? No need. Thank you for your information. Okay. Roger's attitude is quite calm. Have you discovered anything unusual? Oh no. The car at Roger how is like. I check it and there's nothing unusual. It can be seen that Roger lied. So whose white car it is? It is possible that this Kate had two or more perpetrators. I think I need expert help. Did you find information for me? Yes. Roger Cooper had a brother, David Cooper, whose white car witnesses said was very similar to David's car. What kind of person is David? David is ill to be a pharmacist, unlike Roger. David lived a rather private life. What is David doing now? David is currently unemployed. Roger is the person who provides David with monthly money. So the cyanide could have been purchased by David. But there is currently no conclusive evidence. I will find the proof. Thank you for your information. Mr. David Cooper, we suspect you of being inborn in a murder. Please follow us to the police station. Oh no! Hmm. Do you know this person? I had met her before. Do you know the relationship between Roger and Amma? She and my younger brother used to date each other. On Christmas Day, what did you do and where did you go? I held a party at home and invited my younger brother to attend. Did our mom come to the party? No, just as two brothers. Does anyone testify to your testimony? My younger brother Roger was a witness. We will temporarily detain you for investigation. What information have you gathered? David broke it and refused to admit it. How is his expression? Unusual expression. David seemed to be hiding something. Do you have any ideas? Let's go to David's house to look for evidence. Search carefully, don't miss anything. I understand. Hmm. Huh? Come here and see what I found. Huh? The other things I'm on board at the convenience store. There's also a receipt inside. The case have been sold. Hmm. How do you explain this thing found in your house? I confess. The cyanide poison was also prepared by you. Yes. Why did you do that? Roger asked me to join. My younger brother was being threatened by this woman, so I helped him. Please be specific. That day, Roger took my car to pick up Alma. They came to my house to eat and drink, and I prepared cyanide for Roger to put in Amam drinking water. <laughs> then you and Roger took the victim's body to the construction side to the dispo of it. Yes, we did that. You see Roger in cold suit. Oh no! Mm. 
Is there anything else you want to say? I admit. Why did you murder Amal? Amal and I are dating, but it's not properly. Beside her, I also dating two other girls. <clears throat> I'm a threat in me. If I don't reveal my relationship with her, then she will tell everyone. You can end your relationship with Amal. I can't, because she and I were at Costco. If the store gets out, my career will collapse. Why did they betray you in killing the victim? I'm the one who provide him with money. If my career is ruined, then David will be affected too. Is there anything else you want to say? It was all my plan. Please forgive David. Convicting you is a court job. Thank you for demanding justice for Amal. That's what law enforcement should do. Hopefully you and your family will get over this soon. Wow! Ooh. It's so beautiful! I wanna buy... Hmm... <gasps> oh no! I'm sorry. <laughs> Hello? <gasps> wow! Um, <laughs> you want this one, right? Yes, but we don't have enough money. <laughs> oh! Oh my god! Oh! Oh, oh no! Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry about what I did last time. Do you want to eat pizza with me? Okay. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Birthday. I hate you. Sorry, daughter. I will arrange to return immediately. <gasps> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> huh? What? Let's go. on my birthday. Huh? 
Birthday. Stay from the birthday party, we nurse. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Huh? Hmm. Hey, you! Huh? Long time no see, sight. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> oh, no! Oh! Oh, oh my god! <laughs> Let me introduce. This is my bride. Hmm. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh no! La di da di da di da. da huh? Oh no! <gasps> no! Huh? What happened? Jack is not a good person. Please come back to me. I will be right back. Sorry, I should be leave you.
<laughs> Enough here. Mm. <laughs>